all right ravens flock we gotta talk so this is something i've been meaning to discuss for quite some time it's something i and many other ravens fans have noticed and it's been glaringly clear over the last couple of seasons i've been going back and looking at some of the old ravens games i've just been watching it and enjoying the golden age of ravens football i think it's safe to say that that golden age was from 08 to 2012 that five-year span we made the playoffs all five years won at least a playoff game in all five years made it to three afc championship games broke through in 2012 and won the super bowl on that magical run it was the peak of ravens football it was fantastic that was a great time man still having ray lewis still having ed reed still having terrell suggs that was just the golden age of ravens football that was the height that was the peak and during that time man we were an enforcer we were legitimately an enforcer we were a team to be reckoned with we were that team that people did not want to face off against in the playoffs Every time they talked about a team in the AFC you didn't want to see in the postseason, the Ravens were at the top of that list. Whenever the Patriots made it, it was like, oh man, you don't want to see Baltimore in the playoffs. You do not want to see the Ravens. Because we weren't afraid. That was the main thing. We weren't afraid to go on the road and impose our will. We were the same unit that went into Foxborough against Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. And we beat them in their house twice in the playoffs. We were not afraid to take on Peyton Manning in Denver, that number one seeded Broncos team, which again, to this day, I still remember Broncos fans saying it, that was the best Broncos team they had under Peyton Manning. That team was going to win the Super Bowl. That's what they truly believed. And it felt like that was gonna be the case. But Baltimore went in there and found a way to win. We weren't afraid to win on the road. We weren't afraid to be that team to go into somebody else's arena, to go in someone else's house and win. We were a true threat. And because of that, we had that respect. We were a legitimate dominant force. One of the best teams in the league. One of the best teams in the AFC. A true legitimate threat that when you got into the playoffs, you sat back and said, that team might be able to go the distance because you don't want to deal with them in their house. And you certainly don't want to have them come to your house and, and deal with you there because they were a team that that you really feared the ravens were a team that was feared back in the day man that golden age of football we were feared we built up a reputation especially in the postseason in the regular season we showcased that but in the postseason we built up a reputation of being one of those teams you did not want to see in the playoffs we garnered that respect because we showed we can win at home and we show we can go on the road and win there we played in some of the toughest environments you can ever play in football and we won that's what we did we had that reputation for a long time even after the super bowl we still had that reputation just based on the fact that we showed we could do it the fact that Flacco was able to go on the road and outplay peyton manning and outplay tom brady twice in his house we kept that reputation even after the Super Bowl. And again, in 2014, we showcased that. We went into Heinz Field against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and we beat them there. And then we went into New England the following week, and of course, we lost. But again, Flacco was on it, man. Playoff Joe was something different. He had four touchdown passes. We had two 14-point leads. But unfortunately, we blew both those 14-point leads, and, you know, it is what it is. We ended up losing that game. So for a long time, we were one of those teams that was seen as a major threat. That one team you did not want to see in the playoffs. You didn't want to see them. We were that team. <sighs> that was the reputation we built up. And unfortunately, as we sit here today, entering the 2022 NFL season, we no longer have that reputation. Teams aren't afraid of us in the playoffs. We used to be an enforcer. In the postseason, you didn't want to see us. You didn't want to see us. Nowadays, people see Baltimore in the playoffs. They're not afraid of us. They're not. We've lost at home. We've lost on the road. And of course, you don't win every game. There's only one team that can win a Super Bowl. But it's just the fact that we had that, that, that reputation that we built, that we showed. We can go up against the best of the best. We took on two of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play this game in their house, and we beat them. We showed we can do it. 
But you look at the state of the Ravens now. Since the Super Bowl, we have two playoff wins. Two playoff wins. Since the Super Bowl, we have two playoff wins. Our postseason reputation is long gone. No one's afraid of us. When no, like, like, even look at the media. When's the last time you've heard them say, you don't want to see Baltimore in the playoffs? You don't really hear that often. You know the team that has that now? The team that you don't want to see in the playoffs? You know who got that, that nickname, that title in the AFC? It's the Buffalo Bills. You don't want to see the Bills in the playoffs. The only team that's really been able to handle them at least for the most part, consistently has, at least over the last two years, obviously has been the Kansas City Chiefs. But judging by how they've played in the postseason over the last two years, they got to the AFC title game in 2020, and then last year, they, they got to the divisional round and almost took down Kansas City. Again, 13 seconds away from making the AFC title game again. They're that team that you look at and say, man, you don't want to deal with that defense. And that quarterback there and Josh Allen, man, you don't want to deal with Buffalo. You don't want to have to have Buffalo come into your town in the playoffs. Like, that's that's they have that title right now. They have that title. The Buffalo Bills are a team you don't want to see in the postseason. They have that title. Baltimore no longer has that reputation. Because since the Super Bowl, we have two playoff wins. It's tough. It's really tough to sit back and think about it. You know, we, we've lost that level of fear. And nowadays, we're just seen as a team that's talented, one of the better teams in the league, and a team that could go on a po on a um, Super Bowl run, but you're not exactly sure if they can put it together. If you had to pick, back in the day, I'm not joking, back in the day, it was legitimately like four teams. Four teams. It, it was three teams for the most part, but Baltimore fought to be that four teams. It was the Patriots. The Colts at that time were Pey Peyton Manning still there until he went to the Broncos, but it was the Patriots, it was the Colts, and it was the Steelers. Baltimore fought to be that fourth team, and they ended up gaining that respect. Baltimore was one of the best teams in the regular and the postseason. You just didn't want to deal with them in the playoffs. We had that reputation. Nowadays, when you look at it, in terms of teams you don't want to deal with in the playoffs, obviously Kansas City's number one. They're the team to beat, but they're this era's Patriots, so obviously they get that rep. Buffalo would be number two, and now you got to look at teams that, that are recently showing up, such as um, the Bengals. They're starting to make noise. The way they were able to go on the road and beat Patrick Mahomes in this house, that speaks volumes. They got to the Super Bowl. Of course, we have to see if they can build on that this year and continue that momentum, but teams look at the Bengals and say, you know what, I'd, I'd rather just not deal with the Bengals as opposed to the Ravens right now. And whether or not you believe that should be the case, that's up to you. That's just what the noise is being said right now because Baltimore no longer has that reputation of being a team that is feared in the playoffs. You won two playoff games since the Super Bowl, and that's very tough to think about. Because, you know, when we talk, especially when it comes to the Bengal fans, because Bengal fans have been very loud. They've been very loud this entire offseason, and they've been talking hella trash. And they could talk that because their team made the Super Bowl. And I got to say this right now, for the Ravens fans that are trying to, you know, retaliate with, again, I'm not saying you can't talk back. Feel free to. But if the number one thing you got to point to is the Super Bowl rings, bro, you're no different than a Cowboys fan. We have not been successful in the postseason consistently since the Super Bowl. We won that Super Bowl a decade ago. So now you want to bring up a Super Bowl we won a decade ago, which was a different era of football than, than the era we're in now because that was a, a Super Bowl we won at the end of the Ray Lewis era with Joe Flacco being our quarterback, and we're in the Lamar Jackson era. So to bring up rings that was won, over, uh, was won a decade ago to try and make an argument with that, we're no different than Cowboy fans if we're doing that. We talked all that trash with, when Steeler fans tried to bring up that ring they won back in 08. Like, they bring up rings all the time. We should not be having that type of debate. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Yeah, we're not really feared like that anymore. You know? The Tennessee Titans are another team that's probably above us, too. They got to the AFC title game. Yeah, we beat them the following year. But, you know, they're a team that's been... They've been in the playoffs the last three years. And they've been to every place. They were in the wild card round. In 2019, made it all the way to the AFC title game. Next year, they lost the wild card round. 
And then last year they were in the, they were they ended up getting the number one seed in the AFC and was in the divisional round. And honestly, if, if Tannehill didn't play like trash, they probably would have made it to the AFC title game again to face off against the Chiefs for the second well, for, for the second time in three years. That would have been the case. So people are probably gonna sit back and say, yeah, uh Buffalo, Kansas City, Tennessee. Some people might sit back and say the Bengals now. These are four teams we would rather not deal with as opposed to the Ravens. We've lost the intimidation. We've lost that reputation of being that team that you don't want to face in, in the postseason. We don't have that. Now, this video isn't to say that we can't get back to that. I believe this season we have an opportunity to get back to it. Now, that, that's kind of why I'm making this video. We are at our lowest in terms of a fan base. You know, we're getting constantly clowned by Bengal fans, even though we're not trying to listen to it. They're trying to clown us because they made the Super Bowl. And last year we were fourth. We were. Yeah, we were last. So we were definitely last. Yeah, we were fourth in the division. So, yeah, we were fourth in the division and they win the Super Bowl. Not to mention, they're talking about how they were able to go on the road and beat Kansas City and do all this other stuff. And now Joe Burrow's doing this and doing that. And he's all, all of a sudden, he's a top five quarterback and all sorts of nonsense. So they, they're talking and they have the room to talk. Pittsburgh made the playoffs last year with a broken down bend that was clearly on his last legs, but we couldn't make the playoffs. Our reputation right now is looking very poor. And obviously, injuries played a role. But guess what? People don't care about context. All people are going to look back on the when they look at the, the 2021 season, they're going to look back and say Baltimore is fourth in the division. They don't care that you suffered all these injuries. So right now, Baltimore is at its lowest. People are losing respect for us. They don't fear us anymore. And there's not much to say. They, they would rather, they think Bengals are better than us. They would look at the Titans, say they're better than us. The Bills, which, I mean, I, I would agree. The Bills and the Chiefs are a better team than us. I'm not going to deny that. I believe those two teams are just better than us. That's just a fact. But we have an opportunity to compete with them. But yeah, right now we are at the lowest of our lows. People don't respect us. They don't even think we have a chance to win this division next year. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are already looking towards the Bengals. But uh, there's no more of a fear factor. There's no more of a postseason presence or postseason fear factor or any level of reputation that we had back in the day where teams feared us when we were in the postseason. That's not there anymore. That reputation is gone. The respect we had in the postseason, it's been gone for a while now because you've only got two playoff wins since we won the Super Bowl. So right now, Baltimore is at its lowest. And they're coming off of a season where everybody got injured. This season, they have an opportunity to reestablish that. And I hope they do. I'm making this video because I believe the Ravens have a chance to be that team that can show us the sparks of that golden age. That golden age of football where we truly were a dominating force when we truly were a team to beat when teams feared playing us in the postseason when you look at the defense and especially the second day the pieces we've added there we have an opportunity to be the best secondary i'm not gonna say one of we have an opportunity to be the best secondary in football this year you're getting back a lot of players Lamar Jackson's even more motivated he's continuing to improve you're gonna get back J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards Rashad Bateman is set to be your number one receiver. Either way, the number one thing to take away coming into this, um, coming into training camp, obviously, and coming into the season, training camp's not for a, a whole nother month. I, think, I believe the rookies come in the 21st of July, and then the 26th of July is when everyone else comes in. So we still got a whole other month away before training camp starts. But in terms of entering this season, you know, we're getting everybody back. That's the number one thing. We're getting everybody back. And that's the main takeaway. Everybody's coming back. So we have an opportunity to erase all the disrespect. The disrespect, the lack of presence in the postseason. We have an opportunity to completely erase that this year. If the 2022 Ravens can go out there and be a dominating force both in the regular and postseason... We could start seeing those old sparks of that golden age, and we can reestablish ourselves as one of the most feared teams in the league, the team that you don't want to see in the playoffs. We can reestablish that. And if we can start it off with this season, but it all comes down to how they look and how they play. 
but yeah it was just th this is all i wanted to talk about here it was just a quick video um I, I think it was something we've all noticed that, you know, when it comes to this team, we just haven't had that presence in the postseason, and it's something we need to get. The Lamar Jackson era only has one playoff win, and that's not exactly what you want from a guy that's won an MVP. Obviously, it's not his fault, or it's not all his fault that we have one playoff win in the three times we made the postseason, but, you know, we just need to do better. We, we got to do better. We got to be able to go back and impose our will. We're, we're no longer feared, man. We're no longer feared. As a fan base, it's tough for us to sit back and, and talk about how great our organization is when we haven't done much since the Super Bowl. And that's a big part of why people looked at Harbaugh and say he should be fired. But, you know, it's we would just have a chance here. I, I really believe we have an opportunity here. I, I like what I'm seeing from this 2020 unit. The offense isn't exactly what I'm... You know, it's not exactly what I'm... Th I don't have high hopes on the offense entirely. I have high hopes for certain players on the offense, but Greg Roman's still here, so, I mean, I, I just don't know how that's going to work out. Obviously, I'm not calling for his job anymore. The Ravens have made the decision. They're going to go... They choose this guy. They want Greg Roman here. They believe in his ability. And at the end of the day, as a fan, I've accepted that. So whatever happens is, is whatever happens. I don't agree with it, but I accept it. I don't believe in Greg Roman, but I accept it. That's why I don't have a lot of high hopes for this offense. But, you know, I hope they prove me wrong. I really do. This defense, though, I have high hopes for this defense. I believe this defense could be the best defensive unit in football, especially that secondary. So they have an opportunity this year to reestablish themselves regain the respect they lost both in the regular and postseason because last year people were talking way too much trash specifically Bengals fans but they were talking way too much trash they have a chance to reestablish themselves and set a dominant presence both in the regular and in the postseason and i hope the 22 the 2022 ravens are able to do that but we'll see what happens with that anyway that's all i gotta say here not much really to talk about. This was just another idea I just want to throw out there because I was watching some old Ravens games from back in the day and I could just notice. I, I didn't notice that it. it was a completely different vibe, especially in those playoff games. It was one of those teams where it's like, man, you really don't want to deal with them. Like they are a tough out. They are a team to be feared, especially in the playoffs. We don't have that element right now. We got to get back to that. Once we can gain that fear, we can truly reestablish ourselves in the AFC as one of the best teams in the league. For now, we're just a really talented team that could potentially compete, but you wouldn't take them over the Chiefs. You wouldn't take them over the Bills. Some people wouldn't take them over the Titans. And a lot of people are starting to switch over and say we might not take them over the, the Bengals because of the Bengals making the Super Bowl. So we got to reestablish ourselves, guys. 2022, we have an opportunity to do that. But with that being said, that is all I've got, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.